All righty. Well, hang on. I got to make an adjustment here. All right. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, time once again for my pseudo cast. And before we get started, um, I'm going to crack open a can of V8 Energy Pomegranate Blueberry Flavored. So get ready for some pops. Okay, so, um, this time, kind of a rare find here, but it came up on my YouTube recommendations, and, and yes, I'm kind of burning out on everything else. I'm burnt out on playing planets and the, uh, and the sounds they make. I actually tried finding some more, um, people watching videos, and I, technically, I did, but, uh, I was kind of distrustful on these ones, because they said... They were quoted as being royalty free, or they were, it was a, uh, what was it? Royalty free stock footage, or that kind of thing, but unfortunately, all of them, they only lasted like maybe 30 seconds or so, and if I want to show a people watching video, I want to watch a full, at least 15 minutes, and not just uh, a 30 second loop over and over and over, I mean, that's going to get on my nerves quick, so... So that idea was out. So, um, looks like I'm back to this again. Uh, dungeon synth. At least until I can, um, at least until I can find something else. Oh, yeah, and, um, and probably in one of my, what's the word I'm looking for? And I was in a, I was in a momentary macabre mood, and I actually looked up people hanging. Like, maybe they had, a. Maybe they had like 15 minutes of just, you know, people hanging in the gallows, just, you know, rope around their neck. <laughs> you know, just, people just hanging there dead for like 15 minutes. I was actually looking for something like that as well. If I had a thought of it, I probably would have looked at uh, frying in the electric chair for 15 minutes or, you know, something like that. But, I mean, just in a macabre mood of the time, but... Not that I actually get off on seeing this kind of footage, but I'm running out of options. So, again, my default my default preference is showing off is a uh, footage of people walking by. But again, the um, the copyright friendly and royalty free stock footage only lasts like 30 seconds long. So I need a lot more footage than just that. Because, again, I don't want to have to loop any of these. So, again, out of necessity, um, I'm going to go with Basic Dungeon, Tunnels and Treasures 2. I guess this came out in 2018, uh, but I've never heard this before. So, I did have to kind of jump ahead like about five seconds or so because there's like a damn... There's like a, a full screen watermark that damn... The, the intro graphic and all that, so... Anyway, here goes. Kind of sound, kind of sound testing this right now. All right, I'll call it good. Um, but otherwise, I didn't, overall, I didn't really do a whole lot. Just sat on my butt and watched, just binge watch stuff. So, I did, however, um, I did play a lot of, uh, Bloons Tower Defense 6, though. Um, I'm back on that game after not playing that for at least a year. But, uh, during that time, they had some new maps out and stuff. I think they had, a uh, No. Yeah, I think I think they made a change to one of the defense towers on that game. So tried that out. And again, I tried out a, a few new maps that came out. And 
I'm sorry if I'm insulting anybody's intelligence, but for those that have, for those that don't know, um, a tower defense scheme. Um, let me see if I can, let me see if I can uh, pull an image up, because this is gonna be one of those things that's gonna be a lot easier if I showed you rather than told you. want to see an image um. okay this is probably going to be about the best I can do here But, um, well, but this is what a tower defense game looks like. If you can see the, um, oh, here, let me go on the actual image. You know, if you see the road, the, the bad guys or whatever, or in the case of balloons, tower defense, a bunch of balloons are going to start, say, where this arrow is. They're, it's going to start, they're going to start here, and they're just going to follow this road, and they're going to exit out here. And for every balloon that exits out, you take damage. I don't know. I can't see where your life total is over here or anything like that, but uh but that's the general idea. You got the goal in a tower defense game is you is as shown here, you're setting up towers and uh that do various things, shoot various ammunition, have various effects. You know, whatever and they just those this is probably a bad image to use, but I'm just trying to give you an idea as to how our tower defense game works. But, um, I probably should have just typed down Bloons Tower Defense, but, oh well, too late now. But anyway, you kind of get the idea now. Just, you're trying to stop a whole bunch of bad, a bunch of bad things from getting from point A to point B. So, that's, that's the gist of a tower defense game. So. So let me switch back. Hey, it just hit me. This is a chiptune synth. This is like 8-bit music. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I, I forgot to mention this earlier, too. It's got the old-fashioned uh, Dungeons & Dragons module look, too. And looking behind it, I think that's um, I think that's the uh, the basic computer language. You know where you uh, where you, you type down line like line ten, like type run, no or no was it ten type go, for example, line twenty, go to ten, and then. And then you type run after that and it'll it'll show Grrr! it'll just infinitely repeat itself that's debate that's rats east goblin north beware the west but anyway um but i've been playing that a lot I'm playing a uh, balloons tower defense a lot let's get out of that But, but yeah, like I said, um, I hadn't played that game in at least a year. Just felt the need to catch up, and I think I talked about this yesterday too. But, but Bloons Tower Defense was a game that I played like ever since, ever since the third one came out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up another image. So. 
So what you're gonna see here is gonna be a little bit messy. See, here's up. This is Bloons Tower Defense Six. This is what I this is what I was uh, playing a lot of last night. It's just like a it's a tower defense game. Um, it's then with the towers being monkeys and the bad guys being various balloons. And it, and it, it can range from you can't see it here, but it can range from just a a simple old red balloon. All the way up to these big old boys over here. So. Yeah, so let me. But anyway, that's that's what I've been playing a good chunk on the night. Um, I've in case I forgot to say it, but it's a it's a type of game that I really loved ever since probably the late two thousands early 2010s I think um it was on their I first played it on their congregate web, website their gaming website I think it was uh the first one I played was Bloons Tower Defense 3 the third one um the picture I showed you was the one that I'm playing now uh Bloons Tower Defense 6 so that's the latest iteration So I've been playing. So I've been playing, playing that a ton. Um, and also, also, and I um, shortly about I'd say about a half an hour before I got the pseudo cast together. Um, I did a. I also tried out a new fighting game called Punch Planet. It's it's basically a techno slash vaporwave version of a 2D fighting game, kind of futuristic. Um. I, I kind of like it. It's nothing really stood out as like totally awesome, except for the demo mode. It's the only demo mode I can think of, or it's basically a a CPU versus CPU battle. But unlike most other games that I've played, this one here runs continuously. It's just it total nonstop, which is um it's great for somebody like me. Like if I just want to sit back and watch. Or if I need an AFK for whatever reason, usually, usually on other fighting games, it'll it'll only do like maybe one one match, and then that's it, and then I have to I have to go back and start up another. On Punch Planet, though, again the the demo mode runs continuously, continuously until stopped. No. I think if I can remember to, I think I might play this on my uh, evening stream. I kind of like this. This is actually the kind of stuff that I'm uh, really wanting to play, but um, I type usually, uh, I mean, it's the way the YouTube algorithm works. You type down um, dungeon synth, pick a video, and then eventually the algorithm kind of tailors, you know, tailors your recommendations according to what you just lit, what you just watched. So, but unfortunately, the kind of dungeon synth that it's given me is actually like the more modern, which uh, the the dungeon synth stuff doesn't really sound like synth at all. At least not compared to this stuff. I think it said a uh, chip tune. Yeah, chip tune. Yeah, chiptune synth. I mean that. I mean that's the kind of that's the kind of dungeon synth I'm really into. I guess um probably like the Super Nintendo 16-bit bit music. I guess I'd be okay with that one as well. Yeah, and I, I also forgot to mention about Bloons Tower Defense 6. 
it's also one of the few games that I won't stream. Um, mainly because, I mean, I have streamed the game before, but, um, I, it's also one of those games where I actually prefer to play multiplayer. But the problem is, is, uh, when I do that, the game lags, like, big time. Like, um, like, I really need some rollback netcode or something. But uh, then you got... Because then you got multiplayer, then you got me streaming it. My basically my game basically slows to a crawl after that. And again, it's one of those. It's also one of the few games that I can think of where I actually prefer multiplayer. So, but but it, but again, it multiplayer really lags the game, so it turn, practically turns it into a slideshow. And um. And yeah, I can play single player. I mean, I, or excuse me, I could stream single player just fine. But it, it, you know, it just doesn't feel right though. If uh, any viewers that would come on, the the viewers that come on and check me out, are also the ones that also also want to play with me. It doesn't really wouldn't really feel right if I had a if I had to turn them down. You know, because of the lag and all that. So I I would just as soon as just not stream the game at all gonna try to stream it and then tell everybody no so because the multiplayer and the multiplayer in that game is the co-op mode so which uh which also reminds me too um in slay the spire the game i usually play in my evening stream there is a mod um i forget i think it's called slay with friends or something like that I might actually try that. It's a, as far as I know, it's a co-op mode. But I probably do it if only, if only so I can say that I try. Um, I'm anticipating. I'm anticipating uh, what's go, what's going to happen. And Slay the Spire is what already happened in uh, Bloons Tower Defense Six. The game's going to turn into super laggy, despite the fact that it's basically a turn-based game. I've got a feeling that a lag still going to rear its ugly head. that's all I wanted to talk about. I think if there was, um, if there was anything else I wanted to say, I forgot to write, probably should have wrote it down. Or, I probably, I probably won't remember what it was until after the pseudo cast is over. So, but, anyway, that is that. Um, but, but, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And, um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but, until then, Hey. Oh, excuse me. Um, thanks again for coming everybody and see you all next time. <laughs>